Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpio, welcome. If you are new, welcome back if you are returning. So this is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Scorpio. You can have Scorpio anywhere in your chart. Someone is hiding how much they like you, how much they respect you. Somebody also is fighting against something in the dark, like possibly going through a dark night of the soul. Either they don't want you to know this. Or, or somebody is going through this and they don't realize that that's what's actually happening. I don't think somebody realizes that they're going through like a dark night of the soul. I feel I'm picking up an energy with the seven of pentacles here. Somebody feels like they're just working really hard. These are growing pains, which they are. But there's more significance to the reason why this is this is happening. You have a three of cups here and the ace of cups with the tower and the ace of eight of swords. Yeah. Three of cups, ace of cups. This is a celebration of love here in the tower. This is divine intervention. It's a revelation. It's an epiphany here. And somebody's going to come in and make it clear to you. Here's the Ten of Wands with the Ten of Wands. I'm sorry, the Ten of Wands with the Ten of Cups right behind. Oh, sheesh. Hold on now. <laughs> what in the whole heck is happening here? You see that Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups, Ten of Swords, Ace of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. Like, hello, 10, 10, 10. And the Wheel of Fortune, that's four tens. Whoa. Something here is manifesting. And somebody is not going to stop until they have this. Like, wow. You see that Ten of Swords? <laughs> Somebody's like, no, I'm going to have this. They don't care what they have to do. Somebody's determined. To have this celebration of love here. And I'm telling you with the tower. And this type of energy. Somebody is willing to. When I say they're willing to do whatever it takes. They will do whatever it takes. Because someone here. This is the energy I'm getting of redemption. Someone wants you to see the truth. That. They are worthy of. Love. I feel like this person. This four of cups. Someone could be turning down a lot of offers or someone didn't accept an offer or they didn't make you an offer before. But now this person, like someone here is, they're all in. Now, to be honest with you, there's a lot of different reasons why a person may not have made an offer to you. It could have been because of fear, finances. It could have been external um factors or forces, negative things. It could have been spell work. It could have been so many different reasons why this person did not make an offer to you before. It could have even been that you were not emotionally available because in this particular card with this moon, this looks like a feminine here. That's usually cancer energy or more feminine energy anyway. Oh, and there is really not any feminine energy out here too much. For some of you, You've been, oh, shh. some of you, something has had you cloaked. You see this person here? There has been an illusion. You've been cloaked. Where somebody here has been carrying an offer, like 
This person knows that they're supposed to be making an offer. This could be someone who wants like a, a partnership of some sort. They know that they want to make an offer, but it seems like they just continue to kind of drink from their own cup. So this person definitely was a little selfish or they they weren't giving of themselves completely emotionally. But now this person wants a celebration of love and they're willing to do whatever it takes. Now, I don't know for some of you, this is someone that's currently in your life or if this is a past person. For some of you, you have someone in your life now and you have a past person and they are fighting very hard to make you some kind of offer. Because you've been cloaked. So it's a divine feminine out here that has been cloaked. Your energy, no, nobody has been able to truly see your energy. So like I said, you have someone, everybody can see your energy now. So you have people who, let's be honest, they're not really aligned with you or your purpose, but they want a shot at it. And then you have, I'm sure, like a divine masculine that also is coming in. But see, in this card here, it's like there's a, a divine masculine that's like, actually, in this card, you see three masculines. Somebody's like, listen, somebody has to go because that's my feminine. So, <laughs> somebody is claiming a feminine energy out here. But I feel like you're being claimed by several people, to be honest. I'm hearing two different songs in my head right now. I'm hearing Maxwell, Fortunate, and I'm hearing um, Halo. Fortunate. I'm fortunate to have you, girl. Never seen the sun shine like this. Never seen the moon glow like this. Never seen the waterfalls like this. What's the, I know this how the song starts. What's the lyrics to this song? Okay, yeah. Never seen the sun shine like this. Never seen the moon glow like this. Never seen the waterfalls like this. Never seen the lights off like this. Never dug anyone like this. Never had tasty lips to kiss. Never had someone to miss. Never wrote a song quite like this. Fortunate to have you, girl. I'm so glad you're in my world. Just as sure as the sky is blue, I bless the day that I found you. Aww. What else about, and what's the other song I heard? Um... <laughs> I'm hearing Beyonce Halo, but I'm hearing the song specifically where she says, um, remember those those walls I built? Well, baby, they're tumbling down and they didn't even put up a fight. They didn't even make a sound. Yeah, I got my angel now. So Divine Feminist Energy has been cloaked. Either your energy was cloaked to protect you or your energy has been cloaked because, to be honest with you, somebody may have cloaked you. Somebody could have made you appear to be um, taken in the spirit. Whatever this cloak, uh, it's like a, a shield of... Because I'm, I'm now... Wow, this is really... This is, this is three different things I'm saying back to back. It's two songs and now I'm singing in Harry Potter when there was a story in Harry Potter of a boy. Well, in Harry Potter, I believe, there was a cloak that he could put on that would make him invisible. I'm even seeing this now where for some of you, a person who wanted to invest in the situation with you but they sort of like put you on the back burner and save you for later. They were very selfish. This person was consumed with drinking out of their own cup. Therefore, they didn't come to you. You couldn't really share anything with this person or receive. This person just came in with this very selfish energy. 
I really feel like this person could have done something to cloak you so that you will be invisible. But now the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups can definitely be new love. Now you have new love that you're about to sell, you're, you're going to celebrate with someone. This is karma, good karma, divine timing, Ace of Swords. This is a clear line drawn in the sand. This is clarity. It's truth. With the Ten of Swords. And now whoever this is that did this to you. They're receiving karma. And they're going to be eliminated. So that you can have wish fulfillment. And there's someone here with the Ten of Wands. Who is fighting to come near you. To come in towards you. One, The Seven of Pentacles and this Knight of Cups. I don't know which is which. But somebody definitely. I'm, I'm seeing this Knight of Cups. It's like these cards are talking. This Knight of Cups, somebody is is like they're they're surviving off of the love that they have for you. Like the, the love this person has for you, it keeps them going. I feel like this Knight of Cups is this Ten of Wands person. Yeah, the Cups. This Knight of Cups is this Ten of Wands person that wants this this Ten of Cups. Like they're they're stopping at nothing to come towards you with this offer. But see, this Seven of Pentacles person. And with this person having this hole in his hand, this could be somebody who actually did some type of root work, graveyard magic, root work, or something like that. They did this to cloak you. This person wanted you to be cloaked in some type of invisibility so that nobody would see you and also so that you would be stuck in an illusion where you wouldn't see anyone. This could have kept you stuck Thinking about like the past, um, remembering things that happened in childhood in the past. It, it's like something just had your intuition blocked. And if your intuition is blocked like that, it will make it fairly difficult for a person to come in and offer you love. But see, someone here knows your energy. Despite you being cloaked in this invisibility, somebody still knows your energy. It's almost like a, it's honestly, it's like a spell. Um, it's like a spell that is broken by true love. You know, it, it, it's like a Cinderella story or, um, who was it? It's like Snow White or something. It's like literally somebody, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm seeing so much stuff. Like I'm really just, Seeing all kinds of, I'm hearing songs and seeing different movies, all kinds of stuff. But the only thing that will break, it's, you know, now I'm saying like the Little Mermaid. The only thing that will break this off of you is that it will have to be true love. Because what somebody did is they cloaked something about you that would draw you in. So, you know, in the Little Mermaid, it was her voice that captivated the, um, what was he? The the guy from the, the ship. Sailor, whatever he was. Um, <laughs> it was her voice. So the witch took her voice away. She couldn't sing. He had to fall in love with her and kiss her without having her voice. Somebody took something from you. They cloaked something about you that makes you very beautiful. So Someone could have placed something on you so that like your beauty wouldn't show or they tried to silence you. They they shut something down so that you wouldn't be seen, heard, noticed or whatever. You wouldn't be able to captivate anyone. It's something about you. I'm hearing this, you're very alluring and captivating or it's something about you. This person wanted that cloak. It could be your body. Somebody wanted you to be like just invisible living in fear or shame or something like that but here you have it it's like something here the divine has come in and this this person is coming in and they're they're breaking you out of this mental entrapment here where you couldn't see you couldn't move like your mind was caught up on whatever this moon energy is somebody is coming in and whoever this other person is now they're missing this opportunity and you're a true divine person. They're taking you on to peaceful, calm waters. Wow. 
So somebody broke a very um, serious like curse over you, and it's because of true love. I just keep hearing her say, standing in the light of your halo. Look at that. I got my angel now. Y'all, I can't make this up. Three of Wands, the Empress, and the Four of Wands. And the hangman. This person freed you. You got your angel now. Somebody freed you. Um. So you and this person both are going through like an awakening. Did I say something before? I started channeling. I can't remember what I said. Did I say something before about somebody going through a dark night of the soul and maybe they didn't realize it? I think I said that. I don't remember. Oh my gosh. Did I say, was that this video or did I say that in another video? The hangman. And you remember, like in the little, in the Little Mermaid, they helped save one another. You see how these two people, this person, he's caught, and she's trying to, like, give him water, water, emotions. And see, remember I told you the Knight of Cups. See, this is the new person. You've helped this person with something. They're 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 surviving off like they're. They're drawn to you. Water cups, that's emotions. This person has already had a, a taste of your, your essence. It's something about your energetic signature, signature that they know. This could even be from a past life. You could have helped this person in a past life and in this lifetime, they know, they know you based on something that you've already done for them. Hmm. This is very interesting. And this is the first time in a long time that I've used these cards. But yeah, this person knows your energetic signature. So in other words, this would be your true, a true like divine counterpart. They know you on such a spiritual soul level that there is no cloak that could make you invisible to them. They know you. I'm, they are you. <laughs> so nobody can cloak them. Wow. So... For some of you, if you've been going through a situation where it seems like you're not being seen, heard, or noticed by anybody, that's because, yeah, something was was done. But also, I'm also, some of you too, you've been cloaked because there's there's a very specific person for you. Like God has had you in a season of waiting. So it's so let's say God has had you in a season of waiting. There's one person for you. So God is not letting a lot of people come into your life anyway because He has you, you know, deep in your mission and your purpose. He wants you to be aligned with the right person. But it seems like you probably have, of course, crossed paths with people that want to be in your life, that took it upon themselves to try to hide you. But see, it didn't matter that they were trying to hide you because God has already been hiding you. You've been hidden in plain sight anyway. So it's sort of like your enemy that tries to cloak you and hide you. <laughs> they actually just helped you more. Because they help to keep a lot of the distractions and the heartbreak, the issues, obstacles, and challenges that could have distracted you away anyway. You get what I'm saying? Which makes it even easier for this divine counterpart to come in and you can be ready for them. Because now you're not going to have, have as much karma had perhaps you not been cloaked. And a lot of different energies would have been able to come in and try and attach themselves to you. It 
It's like I've been awakened. Every rule I had you breaking. It's the risk that I'm taking. I'm never going to shut you out. Everywhere I'm looking out, I'm surrounded by your embrace. I'm also getting for some of you. It's, 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 this is coming up every single reading. There is a person, you guys, that they are seeing you clearly now. And like in the song, everywhere I go, I'm surrounded by you embrace. Like you have a person that you're haunting this person. You're it's like if somebody tried to put some kind of roots on you or cloak you or something like that, what is happening is because this spell, hex, curse, or whatever is lifting, you're orbiting this person's energy and it's haunting them. I see you like you're like orbiting this person's energy. It's driving them completely insane because everywhere they go, like this person is calling your name in their sleep. When they go out places, they're walking up to people. They're, they're thinking that it's you, all kinds of stuff. Wow. This is two like really, really intense energies though because... What has come in now for you is, is a union. Okay? But whoever this person is now, they know you. They know you on a soul level. This is like a past life connection. And this person, I don't want to say like they're your rightful partner. You have a connection to both of these people, but... Yeah, I mean, they, they will be because whoever tried to silence you, obviously, they did that, I'm assuming, out of love, but that's obsession and possessiveness. You don't do that to a person. Maybe in their mind, they felt like, oh, I did it because I love you so much, but this person tries to block you from receiving offers and they're not even who God actually has for you. So they tried to take full control over a situation that wasn't for them to control. Now, the thoughts, the memory, and everything of you is haunting this person. Justice. <laughs> and the Ace of Wands. So the decision has been made. You have a new passionate beginning. That's the decision. And it's falling right underneath the Ace of Swords. This person that did something to you, they're like, this is, time is up for them. Justice is served. This person is being dragged out. Force. You see her standing over this person? This person is sick. Oh my gosh. These cards. Yikes. That looks like a funeral. No lie. And then you have the emperor here. Six of Pentacles, the lovers, and the high priestess. Whoa, what? Oh, but you know what I'm getting to? Justice is going to be served and whoever this person is has been trying to block you. They're going to experience an ending. But I feel that the person that is protecting you, it's almost like this person, they're, they're needing to rest after handling this situation to have a union with you. But see, you're going to give that person their flowers while they're still here. This other person is, they're out of here. <laughs> but this person who has protected you, who wants this 10 of cups with you, see this, 
You have here, it's a very strong spiritual connection. That's the high priestess, the lovers, and the six of pentacles. You're meant to have equal give and take with this person. This is your divine masculine. So if you had like a, a karmic soulmate or something like that, or some type of, you know, even like entity or anything that was obsessed with you or constantly trying to um, dictate and control your life in any way, this divine masculine energy has done something to eliminate that. And it's true love. So because they have true love for you, they have that power, that authority to get this other person completely out of your energy. I had a reading like this a few weeks ago and I was like, someone here, I don't know what they're doing. It's not something bad, but it could simply be this person is has very powerful prayers. But they have seen you in the spirit. They've seen something happening to you in the spirit where you've been cloaked or you've been blocked and they've removed it. Very specific message for somebody. Some of you, you have gone to somebody for some type of energy clearing work and whatever they did, it, it worked. Some, something has been removed from you. And to be, it's, it saved you. If this isn't like a romantic partner, you could have gone to um, like an energy healer. It could have like a Reiki specialist or something. They could have noticed that there was something in your auric field and they removed it or recalibrated something. And that has helped you to come out of this cloaked energy. Somebody was doing something to your, your energy. It could have been like somebody was, um, I don't know what type of evil eye you will, this will be, but like something was, it had you completely covered, cloaked. So some of you, oh wow. Some of you, if this is the divine masculine, they have the power, the ability, the um, strength to cover you energetically. And their, their covering of you, you know, people say, I cover you in prayer. The way this person is covering you, whatever they're doing, it's more powerful than this cloak of invisibility that someone placed over you. But keep in mind, you were being held for this person anyway. This is how it was supposed to be. God was cloaking you as well or had you on a season of waiting for this specific person. But they're your angel. For some of you, this is it's, it's a spirit guide or an angel that's protecting you. But look, nine of swords. See, somebody here has fought some type of entity off of you. Six of cups. You have some kind of past life, karmic tie, an entity or energy, some kind of dark spirit or something. This person, because of their connection to you, this person went to, to like went in, in battle for you. Y'all already have a contract here, Six of Cups. So this person, I don't know if they have spiritual gifts. They can see there's something from your past or past life. With that moon energy, they could see that there was something hiding in the shadows that has been cloaking you. This is really powerful. Like, beautiful is an understatement. This is the true power of divine love. I don't know what this person is or what they do. This person is, they have a healing energy though. They could be, a, they could have dreams because this person is in bed. This person saw something in their dreams trying to attack you or them and they were able to fight it. But it's almost like this dream, whatever, it reminded them of something from the past. 
This person could have even been battling something from their past or their childhood and they are overcoming whatever this is and maybe they could not see you before. Something here is being eliminated. Either this person couldn't see you because of something from their past or something from your, or both of you have been blocked by something. Like whatever this cloak of invisibility is on you is being removed and whatever demon that this person has been fighting, they're resolving that issue as well. That's what I really feel is happening here, especially with the high priestess and the lovers out here. There's an inner knowing that the two of you have. Yeah, this is the emperor. The emperor and the high priestess and the lovers. Yeah. This is someone that's probably very protective of you. Yeah, and look at that. The judgment card. Uh-huh. So th this, that makes sense. Judgment, the page of wands, the devil, and the tempers. This person, it was something from their past that they needed to deal with as well. Because they walked away from somebody. They walked away from some type of toxic, codependent connection. Because they're having this awakening. And now everything is balancing out. Eight of Pentacles. They're putting in the work, doing whatever is necessary for them to have this connection. But they had to free themselves. Nine of Pentacles. And now you're free too. So something here is coming together. You and this person are both free. It just feels like because you're healing yourselves, it's healing this connection. That moon energy. You're out of some kind of illusion here. This could even be something like um, someone doing a spiritual cleanse or detox or cord cutting. But whatever, it, it's a clearing of your energetic field that has occurred. Something is not in your energy. So you're not stuck in some kind of an like illusion. But this masculine has finally become awakened and aware about something from their past that they walked away from. This person may have walked away from someone a really long time ago. It doesn't feel like it's recent. It feels like it was something... a while ago. I'm talking like four to six years ago. Someone was in their life. They walked away from this, but there could have been some type of really dark um, soul tie or stronghold that, that was still connecting this person. These two people together. And this masked them because they're cleansing, they're clearing, they're healing. That soul tie with that person has been broken. And now it's allowing them to see the divine feminine clearly. But at the same time, the guy feminine, whoever tried to cloak you in invisibility, that's breaking off. This is the love here. The love between these two people is bro broken curses off of both of you. It's like it triggered something where God is like, okay, I think you're ready. So now this is also to your spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascending, I mean, Everything here is happening in divine timing. And there's like this peace, this balance, and this harmony that's coming. But someone, again, like I said in the, before, someone is work, working very, very hard. But one person is working really hard to ensure that they have union with you. Another person is being very sneaky and deceptive in hopes to have a union with you as well. But it's only the person that has true love for you that can break this curse. And you're going to know because this is the person that, you know, will be in your life. Somebody is realizing that whatever their schemes or scams or trickery used to try and block you is just going to land them in this Ten of Swords energy. 
magician. Yeah, somebody did magic to have you left out in the cold. And they were hoping that people will walk away from you or that you will walk away from something that was actually meant for you. A king of pentacles and a queen of wands could be of significance. So if you're the feminine, you could have an ex-partner that's a king of pentacles. And this divine masculine could have an ex that is a queen of wands. Fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody did magic. They wanted you to miss an opportunity here with the page of cups. You see the fishes out of the cup. Somebody was trying to stop you from having romance or any type of offer. Somebody may have even wanted to stop you from having a child or children. Or they were trying to block like a spiritual gift so that you would be confused. This could also be a couple that did this to you. Because the King of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Page of Cups, it's like mom, dad, and possibly a child. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, look at that. Three of Pentacles, the world, the three of swords, and then the seven of swords with the stars. Somebody is getting caught up. Like I said, this could have been even a couple that did this because the Three of Pentacles is coming out with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. These people collaborated to do something against you for some kind of success or they wanted some type of fame. I heard the word clout specifically. But see, coming in, trying to interfere in your connection, these people are getting caught. Look at this Seven of Swords. They're getting caught for doing this. They're getting caught for trying to cloak you and, and break you break you up with a person or block you from love or whatever this is, they're 100% getting caught for this. Look at that person's foot walking into this trap. And that's why this person is going to be out of here like this with this Ten of Swords. <laughs> the world, I'm sorry, the Wheel of Fortune is here with the Ace of Swords. You see that like that, um, I don't know if this is a a falcon. It's not an owl. Yeah. This person, the, the truth is already out. So the wheel of fortune is here. And you're going towards the star. Somebody tried to block it. Something that was destiny. They tried to block it. Yeah, because they want to hold on to you. Four pinnacles at the bottom. Hmm. I said block seven of wands, fella. That's too many cards, so. Two of pentacles. It's so crazy to me how people will try to block you from going into a new beginning. And the whole time, they'll be in a connection themselves. You have the ten of pentacles. See what I'm saying? The two of, two of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. But I also feel, too, that, oh, this is so amazing. Something here is about to go, wow. <laughs> the Two of Pentacles goes all the way to the Ten of Pentacles. We know the Two of Pentacles is like Robin, Peter, Pay, Paul. This is um, an imbalance. It's juggling. It's having difficulty with prioritizing things. But to go from the Two of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles, I feel that whatever this blockage or delay is because it's here with a star, you're literally about to get everything that was blocked and everything that was taken from you, you're going to receive all of that tenfold. You're going straight from the Two of Pentacles right to the Ten of Pentacles, okay? And this energy here of you feeling left out in the cold, dealing with some type of regret, shame, disappointment, missed opportunities or whatever, this is ending. The Five of Cups to the Death, no more sadness here. This is ending for you. You're going from the Two of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. And whoever was trying to block you, stop you, whatever, they are for sure being caught. And I mean, you can see on that card, like this, this is an ending for this person that, you know, I, I don't know. This could be a physical ending or the death card on the five of cups, that's, gr that's grieving, that's mourning. Okay. This is either someone will never, ever be able to return to your life. Like I said, either through an actual life transition or 
it's just the end of this person being in your energy. I'm not sure, but look at this, the bottom of the deck, the marriage card, marriage, false person, community. Yeah, see, somebody in a community was being false. But marriage here, there's true love here. There's a connection that's going towards marriage. Unexpected income. I told you, you're going from the two of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. So, occupation, toil, and labor. Wow. This is a financial opportunity that's going to come in. And I just said this in a reading before where a lot of times when divine masculine is going to a union, people will try to attack their finances because the divine masculine, of course, they want to carry their role of providing, you know, protecting and providing. Somebody, if, if someone has been trying to block this person from doing that, it, it doesn't matter because they're going from the two of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. Unexpected income here in occupation with toil and labor. Whoever has been having financial blockages, that's about to change. And someone is concerned. I feel like it's this person who has been trying to block you. They're concerned because you're receiving this gift. This person didn't want you to receive anything, but it's coming anyway. Yeah, it's a change coming. You know, it's a change coming because you see this false card. There's a change coming because someone has manifested you. The right person. Yeah, you're going on a journey. <laughs> Wealthy man. If there's a man out here whose finances have been tampered with, they're going... They're going to be okay, but there's a person out here who has used money. This person, this ending out here, this some, where someone is getting caught, someone here could be going to jail because they were trying to steal. They were trying to steal your, your blessing, your opportunity to have a family, or you receiving something from like a, a, an inheritance. Yeah, it's, this is about you having a family though because you have here courtship and family room with high honor. Somebody wanted to ensure that you didn't have an opportunity to have this like high vibrational connection. So they tried to have you bound. They wanted to steal this, this blessing from you. This person is about to go to spiritual jail or they could be going to real jail because this person is a thief. They're a spiritual thief. But with all of this focused out here on money, this person has possibly stolen something as well. Because the very first card out was the Seven of Pentacles. This person did some type of um, root work or something. And I was getting before, like somebody here has possibly gone to like a, a Reiki healer or something like that with energy. So this person could have done something with your root chakra. To throw your security and stability, your sense of um, stability, your security, to throw that off, which will make it, it, a person who's having financial difficulties, usually they definitely have some kind of um, root chakra blockage. This person was tampering with somebody's chakras, but something has been healed that is now offsetting this energy. So somebody was doing something to a person's root chakra to affect their finances and also trying to cloak a person. And I feel like the feminine was cloaked so that they wouldn't be seen as the divine feminine. And that was also to throw off their intuition. The masculine, though, their finances and root chakra has been tampered with so that they won't be able to offer security and stability. Whoever did this, though, they're going to really, um, they're facing judgment for this. Look, here's child. It's a brand new beginning. But you have your courtship, family room, and child in high honor. Great fortune, privileged lady. Great fortune. Yeah, you have a new beginning. False person is out here. That's the Queen of Wands.
mature woman and sudden wealth. Hmm. Somebody's birthday could be June 8th or June 11th or August 6th, August 11th, November 6th or November 8th. The number five could be of significance. I don't know, something just happened here with this energy. This false person, mature woman and wealth. This could even be a mother and daughter. They tried to set somebody up so that they wouldn't experience. Well, this could be someone's mom and sister, or this could be someone's ex and their mother. These people could have tried to block this divine masculine from having financial security and stability. They may have been the ones who did something with this masculine's root chakra. Something out here was for sure about money. But I mean, when you think about money, wealth, currency, there's energy as well. just flipped up house security and stability it was like a net or something just flying in here house Sudden wealth, mature woman, false person. There's another person out here. Poverty. That's, I don't know what this is with this woman. It's very odd, though, whatever it is. This could be somebody's parents. Because now mature man is out here in distant horizons. I want to say, though, because I don't want to make this negative simply because I see the false person here. So, something else that I'm getting from this. I'm getting like a, a lot of things. Whoever this divine masculine is, this person could have walked away from this false person. This person, this false person, this feminine could have come from a wealthy family because I see the mature man and mature woman out here, sudden wealth, the home, distant horizons. When this masculine walked away from this person, they could have made sure that this masculine was someone who was facing some type of poverty. That's why this person is going from the Two of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they're going to receive a message very soon. Judication is here in courthouse. That they, like, they're about to get some money back. And this, you know, of course, let's keep in mind, this could be spiritual court. Something that was taken from this person or put in place to block this person is about to be made fair so that they can receive their money, their blessings. And so whoever this person walked away from, again, they could be very just money hungry. I heard the word clout chaser before. The way these people will hit you how it hurts is with your money. So it's like, oh, well, you know, you don't want to be a part of our family or whatever the case may be. We'll block your money. That's what they did. And then when it comes to this karmic masculine that has been possibly attacking this divine feminine. This person 
was trying to block divine feminine from having a family with child, family, room, and courtship. So I hope that this makes sense and you understand. You have a karmic masculine out here who was trying to block the divine feminine from starting a family with a divine masculine. This divine feminine is coming into union with a divine masculine who has walked away from someone who has tried to stop their ability to manifest money. And wherever a person attacks you with is where your, your blessing is. It's the thing that they're, they're the most intimidated by. This man that's attacking this divine feminine is extremely jealous of them having love because they probably don't have the love that they want and they want, they wish that they could have had it with divine feminine. This family or whomever or ex-lover that's attacking this divine masculine, they know that this masculine is going to have a family with this divine feminine and that's going to make the divine feminine privileged. The divine feminine could already be pri privileged, but it's just, you know, I want you to do good, but never better than me. Or if you're not doing well with me, then you can't do well with anyone type of energy. So these are very low vibrational energies because these are people who are extremely controlling. Trying to control someone's destiny, their fate, and their finances. That's completely insane. Picked up a lot of stuff here. A few songs. Some type of energy clearing or cleansing. Um, cord cutting or something. Something has something has cut whatever this energy is. Look at the card that popped out. Finances. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. Somebody did this on purpose, though. And your intuition is on point because this is your twin flame. Your intuition is telling you the timing is not right. Somebody here, look, lean on your inner circle during this time. Patience. Everything will unfold in divine timing. Yeah. Someone is attacking the finances of your twin flame. And your intuition told you this or is, is telling you this. That you just need to wait. Justice is coming. You already know the answer that you seek. You've been wondering what's happening. Lean on your support, your spiritual team at this time. They're telling you, don't worry about it. Everything is going to work out because, like I said, someone, <laughs> this thief, these thieves, whoever they are, they're going to jail or to spiritual jail. Whatever they wish for you is, is what's going to manifest in their life. And we already saw here, like someone is caught. You already know that somebody was here doing some type of spell work on your finances with your twin flame. It's a twin flame connection that somebody just wants to block. So they're constantly causing issues with your finances because, you know, that makes it difficult for someone to support you. But you've learned this spiritual lesson. And somebody else is about to learn a major spiritual lesson as well. They're going to learn to stop bothering people. Yeah. Someone is going to feel a lot of remorse for what they've done and how they've treated you. 